Hi guys and welcome to the next video of this entire series. In this video, I will be discussing what is Advanced Threat Protection or ATP. In the last video, we discussed what is anti-malware engine and how we can create and manage anti-malware policies. In this particular session, I will be discussing what is Advanced Threat Protection or ATP. I will be discussing the architectural view of Advanced Threat Protection. I will be discussing how safe attachments and safe link policies help protect organizations from malicious URLs and attachments. And then I will be showing you how you can create and manage advanced threat protection policies. Microsoft Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection is a cloud-based email filtering service that provides additional protection against specific types of advanced threats. Advanced threat protection helps protect organizations against unknown malware and viruses by providing zero day protection. Office 365 advanced threat protection uses a multi layered solution to protect mailboxes, files, online storage, and application against a wide range of threats. Every month, Office 365 ATP blocks more than 500,000 email messages that use HTML and document files that open a website with malicious contents. Machine learning technologies and threat intelligence makes ATP a robust defense mechanism that protects customers against threats in real time. These days, attackers are using several techniques to bypass file-based detection of attachments and blocking of malicious URLs. Office 365 ATP protects customers from unknown email threats in real time by using intelligent systems that inspect attachments and links for malicious contents. These automated systems include a robust detonation platform and machine learning models. Safe attachments in Office 365 ATP provides an additional layer of protection for email attachments that have already been scanned by anti-malware protection policies. As soon as an email reaches ATP, this email is moved to a virtual environment where attachments are scanned. This virtual environment is called detonation chamber or sandbox. Safe attachments detonates the attachments that are common targets for malicious contents, such as office documents, PDF files, executable files, and flash files. If an attachment is found unsafe, that attachment is rejected. If the attachment is found safe, both the email and the attachment are delivered to the recipient inbox. When an attachment enters the safe attachment sandbox environment, a detonation chamber analyzes the attachment and determines whether this attachment is safe or not. This process takes up to 30 minutes to scan the attachment depending on the file size. With dynamic delivery of safe attachments, that delay is eliminated by sending the body of the email to the recipient, and the actual attachment undergoes the safe attachments scan. While the attachment is being scanned, the users can read and reply to the email. If the attachment is found safe, it is attached with the email in the user's mailbox, and if the attachment is found unsafe, the attachment is rejected. Safe links is a feature of Defender for Office 365 that provides URL scanning and rewriting of URLs within the emails. Safe links scanning occurs in addition to the regular anti spam and anti malware policies within Exchange Online Protection. Safe links scans incoming email for non malicious hyperlinks. Every scanned URLs are rewritten using the Microsoft standard URL prefix. This URL is added as a prefix to the every URL that is found within the email. This is called rewriting the URLs by using safe link policies. When a user opens an email in his mailbox and clicks on a URL, safe links immediately check the URL before opening the website. If the URL is included in the block the following URL list, user will see blocked URL warning page. If the URL points to a website that has been determined to be malicious, a malicious website warning page will open for the user. 
within safe links there is an option apply real time url scanning for suspicious links and links that point to files if this option is enabled and if the url within the email points to a downloadable file that file is also checked if the url is determined to be safe the website will open safe attachments and safe links policies can be managed from microsoft 365 defender and from security and compliance center as well if you want to manage these settings these policies from security and compliance center you will go to threat management and then policies under threat policies you will click on safe attachments or safe links if you want to manage these policies from microsoft 365 defender you will go to policies and rules threat policies and then you can access safe attachments or safe links policies let's discuss first how we can manage or create safe attachments policies if you click on safe attachments policies you will not see a default policy here because safe attachments do not have a default policy so we can create a custom safe attachment policy as per our requirement we can select the conditions and we can define the rules so first we will specify a name for this policy under include users groups and domains you can add the users groups or domains that you want to include under this policy you can include your domains as well for example you can include your custom domains or your initial domain which ends with dot on microsoft.com for example this is my custom domain office 365 concepts.com so i can include all the domains or a particular domain as per the business requirements if you want to exclude users groups or domains from this policy you can add the users groups or domains here and these users groups or domains will be excluded from this policy that means this policy will not take any effect on those users groups or domains which are added under exclude these users groups and domains option once you make the changes click next on this section you can specify what sort of actions you want to take on the emails which have attachments attached with them the first option is off if you select off no action will be taken on the attachments that means attachments will not be scanned by safe attachment policies if you select monitor the email will be delivered to the user if malware is detected and it will monitor the results you will be able to see all the logs within the reports of microsoft 365 defender for safe attachments if you select block if any malware is detected within the email that email will be blocked if you select replace as soon as an email will reach to your office 365 tenant and if that attachment has a malware within the email in that case the email will be delivered to the user however the attachment will be blocked if you select dynamic delivery the email will be delivered to the user and the attachment will be sent to the detonation chamber for the further scans if the attachment is found safe the attachment will be attached with the email within the user's mailbox if the attachment is unsafe attachment will be removed if you want to redirect the emails which has attachments you can mention the email address here and all of the emails which have attachments will be redirected to this particular email address once you have made the changes click next review the changes and click submit this will create a custom safe attachments policy to manage safe link policies from microsoft 365 defender we will click on safe links and then we will click on create there is no default safe link policy so we will create a custom policy first we will specify a name for this policy under include users groups and domains we can add the users or we can add the groups or the domains within our organization to protect them under this policy if you want to exclude any user group or domain from this policy you can add those users or domains or groups here and then click next 
On the next page, we can specify the protection settings for safe links policy. This option is if you want to enable real-time scanning of links within the email messages, you can turn on this option. If you want the safe link policies to scan the URLs within the Microsoft Teams chat or within the emails which are sent to the Teams channels, for that you can turn on this option. The next option is apply real-time URL scanning for suspicious links and links that points to files. If a user is clicking on any URL within the email, as soon as he will click on that URL, URL safe link policy will scan that URL immediately and based on the findings, if the URL is redirecting to malicious website, user will see a warning page. The next option is wait for URL scanning to complete before delivering the message. If you enable this option, first, the URL within the email will be scanned and then that email will be delivered to the particular user. The next option is apply safe links to email messages within email messages sent within the organization. That means do you want safe link policies to scan the emails which are sent within your organization or which are internal emails? The next option is do not track user clicks. There is a report in Microsoft 365 Defender or within ATP that you can check how many users have clicked the URLs. So with the help of this option, you can track those logs. If you want to enable it, do not check this option. Leave it unchecked. The next option is do not let users click through to the URL to the original URL. So when user will see a warning page, there will be an option which says continue anyway, and they will be uh, not recommended in the brackets. So if you check this option, users will not be able to click on that particular option, which says continue anyway. If you want to display your organization brand name or notification or warning pages, you can enable this option. The last option is do not rewrite the following URLs. If you want to whitelist particular URLs within your organization, you can add those URLs here. Click add and then click save. So once you have made the changes as per your requirement, click next. Here you can specify the notifications if you want to send default notification to the users, whether the emails are quarantined or uh, whether a malicious URL was found in their emails, you can send those notifications. If you want to send custom notification, you can type the custom text here and you can send custom notifications as well. So after that, you can review the settings and once all the changes are made, you can click on submit. This will create a custom safe links policy. Microsoft Defender for Office 365 Plan 2 is included in Office 365 E5, Office 365 A5, Microsoft 365 E5 Security, and Microsoft 365 E5. Microsoft Defender for Office 365 Plan 1 is included in Microsoft 365 Business Premium License. Microsoft Defender Plan 1 and Plan 2 are available as standalone license as well. If you have Exchange Online Plan 1, Exchange Online Plan 2, Kiosk License or Office 365 Business Essential, you can go for Microsoft Defender Plan 1 or Plan 2 as a standalone license. So in this particular session, we have discussed what is advanced threat protection or ATP. We discussed how safe attachments and safe links scan attachments and the URLs and how they protect organizations from malicious contents. I have shown you how you can create or manage safe attachments and safe links policies from Microsoft Defender for Office 365. In the next session, I will be discussing how we can configure anti-phishing policies to help protect the organizations from phishing and spoofing attacks. And I will be showing you how phishing policies help organizations from phishing and spoofing attacks. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time.
Take care.